Right, um, group number two this is our robot. My name is Eddie Moulton. I'm Alex Muir. I'm Niccolo. And I'm Daniel Smith. This year's third year electrical engineering design project was to create an autonomous robot that could read a plan and then go and collect the required materials, round foam pucks, and stack them in a construction area in the same order as the plan. Each stack was four pucks high, and there were four robots in the arena at one time. There was a time limit of six minutes to complete your stack. Our robot was constructed primarily out of wood, which was easy to manipulate and make adjustments to, which, of which there were many um, throughout the 12 week progress. Um, other parts were made out of aluminium, which was available from the workshop. Um, our lift system uses uh, just draw runners that you can buy from Bunnings, which kept the lifting simple. Uh, they slide freely and are designed to do basically this. Um, we placed the wheels around the centre of the robot, which made it easy to rotate on the spot. Um, on the bottom, we have four ping pong balls cut into smaller pieces to allow us to slide around freely um, and provide contacts at all corners of the robot to keep it stable. Uh, the power systems, we used a six cell NIMH RC car battery through a buck converter, which drops the voltage from 7.2 volts down to five. And that drives uh, basically all the power systems, the motors, headlights, servos, um, anything that draws a lot of current. And then we have the PSOC with its own power supply to prevent any noise um, causing issues from motors, um, powering the PSOC and also this lift mechanism here. On startup, our robot initializes all sensors and then begins reading the plan using computer vision, using thresholding for the different colors and blob detection. It then turns around and enters the arena we find pucks in the arena using computer vision, looking for ones that are closest to the bottom of the frame, as well as closest to the center of the frame, as these will be the easiest to collect. We then drive towards this puck, aligning as we get closer, always keeping it in the center, until an infrared beam at the front of our robot breaks, signifying that there is a puck within grasping reach. So navigation was achieved through the use of uh, several sensors. We used the camera to find out where we're going to, the ultrasonic sensor to find out the distance to the closest object, um, the magnetometer to find our direction, and then rotary encoders on the axles of the wheels to ensure that we're driving straight. The magnetometer um, by itself didn't provide accurate uh, values due to all the metal in the walls and the floor of the uh, arena. So we needed to calibrate that we did that by taking many points and centering all the data around a central point and that gave us accurate uh, turns to within a few degrees. We have two colour sensors on the front, just on either side of the grouper. Um, these detect the construction area, which is a lot brighter than uh, the rest of the floor and this allows us to detect when we're over the uh, construction zone and also align to make sure both, um, both sensors are over the zone and we can grip. Um, the gripper onto the right area. After placing the second puck on top of the first, we lower to the bottom and drag backwards to ensure that the stack is within the center of the construction area, as each time it places down a puck, it tends to push it slightly further forward. So the ultronic on the front uh, was used to uh, find the distance to the side wall. Uh, once we got to there, we could rotate using the magnetometer to uh, the back wall and then figure out the exact distance into the construction area. One of the special structures that we needed to create for our robot was the pulley system for the lift, which would raise the grip up. We initially tried this using a stepper motor, but unfortunately, uh, due to the speed of the motor and how much torque it provided, it wasn't able to lift the gripper up uh, to our requirements. So what instead we did is we built this pulley system here and connected it up to the DC motor. Uh, this meant that initially without the pulley system the DC motor would spin too quickly but with the pulley system it would 
provide the perfect balance of torque and speed. Then we would use the ultrasonic sensor placed here, which is mounted facing upwards, and that would give us the height feedback that we would need to raise our lift accurately. So during the uh, final competition, these are the areas that we found worked well. Uh, first of all, reading the plan worked well every time, um, and it was really fast as well. It meant that we could get out into the arena and start searching for a puck before the other groups entered the arena as well. Um, our robot was really, really good at tracking onto pucks. We were able to align with pucks in the arena and also pucks in the construction zone. Um, our lift assembly worked really well. Um, it worked rapidly and was much faster than lots of our competitors and it never stalled, it never got caught and it never derailed. Our plow and grip mechanism worked perfectly as well. Um, we were able to separate between two pucks that were quite, quite close together and we never um, had issues gripping a puck once we had uh, used the gripper properly. Um, we were also able to start our program from within the, the loop of pucks so that we could skip one of the pucks. Uh, this is really useful if we have to stop and power cycle our robot and we can continue from perhaps the second puck in the stack rather than looking for the first puck again and having to read the plan as well. Unfortunately we found that the areas that did not work well was that our robot would collide with other robots. This meant that we spent more time trying to uh, uncollide with them uh, than actually stacking the pucks. What could also be improved was the speed of our robot. It took a bit longer than what was necessary to stack the pucks. Uh, we could improve the collision avoidance by implementing more sensors on our robot, such as ultrasonic sensors. In both rounds, we only managed to successfully stack two pucks in the six minutes, despite being able to successfully stack all four pucks during testing. The major contributor to this difference was the random nature of having other robots in the arena at the same time, occasionally running into you and pushing the pucks around when you're trying to grab them. We really enjoyed this project and we hope you've enjoyed our presentation. Thanks for listening.